one of the key areas that um, everything, all the thinking kind of comes together around is planning of action learning. And the question is how can ESD be structured for open-ended action learning that develops um, in subject teaching settings? And yeah, one of the most useful tools has been around for a long, long time. Um, and that is the five T's of action learning, the tuning in, the talking, thinking, touching, and taking action. And this we've used for years in the startup phase of photo deliberations, tuning in, talking, and thinking. Um, why these are so important in, for instance, story sharing is talking and thinking is who's doing all the talking, who's doing the thinking, how does talking and thinking progress so that it becomes learner-led? That's why this is such a useful tool. And um, local inquiry is touch, um, tuning in, talking and thinking together um, towards handprint action, which involves touching, um, talking and taking action. And of course, this is just a very useful reminder to us that um, giving over more and more work so that it becomes learner-led and facilitating and supporting this work is what is one of the most important things in this um, work that we're doing. So ESD as learning across past and present to reimagine a sustainable future has really been under theorized until we got the work of Chikamori in Japan and um, Ingrid Schudel, my colleague at the Environmental Learning Research Center, where they've been working with critical realism. And critical realism allows us to contemplate present, um, past, and future in a progression. Uh, what Chikamori did is to develop this model um, of TMESD, Transformative Model of Education for Sustainable Development, where centering it on the students, knowing the past and understanding how the past has produced the present is really foundational for um, ESD. And my colleague Ingrid Schudel says, well, that allows us to start dialectical learning, what is and what is not. And as the students look at this in the present, what could be and what could, she, could be and should be comes to the fore. And this allows the students to work on what can be. So if we start off with photo deliberations um, and story sharing, this can lead to depth inquiry and on to designing solutions and change challenge assessment. So here what we've got is a really useful tool for thinking about how do we choreograph or enable the learning um, platform for students to be able to engage with um, transformative learning as a process of understanding how the present produce, is produced out of the past and understanding how um, creativity in the present allows the students to see what are the absences, the things that if they were there would bring change, and what are the creative innovations that they can initiate. So this was one of the most important tools in the handprint care work. And here are some references if you'd like to read about the Chikamore and the Shudel work and um, read about the um, action learning and the way it's changing um, environments, um, both in the classroom and in community settings around the world.